Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I'm talking about why you shouldn't be loyal to a job. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that business. Man, on my playlist titled Business, I got other videos like this. If you like this type of content, you know, this is truly uh, intended to help Israel out, help Israel free themselves from this system. Now, you might be saying like, what the heck is this dude talking about? Don't be loyal to no job. The heck is he talking about? Today I'm gonna tell you why. This is why I encourage people to start something on their own. If you are a woman that knows how to sew, you can do alterations, you know? If you are a man that is good with landscaping, you can cut grass. If you are a man that's very handy, around the house you can be a handyman i'm just giving you an example the reason i say don't be loyal to a job is because people you know every day somebody is getting laid off and businesses make money by firing people so check this out you got the guy that gets paid hourly you got the guy that gets paid by a salary. And what do they find themselves doing? Taking work home, giving their whole life over to a job. And you're thinking, okay, this, if I, if, if I, if I operate like this, that's gonna put me in good graces with the higher ups. And, you know, I'll be able to promote and, and progress a little bit faster. There is some instances where that happens, but there's also instances where you have people earning over $100,000, been with an employer for a while, you are at the top of the pay scale for your position, and you come into work one day, and they let you go. No reason, no reason. You know, there's companies all day long that go under go belly up and cut everybody off. You're losing your benefits packet. You're losing your doggone retirement. You're losing it all. You come to doggone work and the doors is shut. They didn't have to fire you. All they had to do was, was, was tank. Here's another one. If you are at the top of your pay scale, meaning you didn't hit all these brackets and you're at the top, Businesses save money by doing what I'm about to tell you. What they do is put an ad out for your job. Start taking interviews, seeing who's qualified. And they're starting out the hiring process at the bottom pay level that you have worked yourself up from. So what they'll do is they can get somebody for less money that's more eager than you because at the top of your pay chart, or pay scale, pay grade, chances are you've gotten kind of complacent, you've gotten comfortable, and they want somebody motivated that's gonna do more work, dang near, dang near work themselves to death, sacrifice their family, you know, for the employer. And when a, oftentimes when you see a corporation they start talking about, hey, we're making major moves and we're doing this and we're doing a merger and all of this. They they brief it as it sounds good, but how many times have people seen that where uh, a whole slew of people get laid off? And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, don't get loyal to something that's only business. Don't be loyal to something that's only business. When they bring you in that office and you you you're comfortable and you like, man, I've been here ten years and that's how you treat me, it's not personal, it's business. They're saving money. They're saving money. A lot of these 
places that hired all these people uh, post pandemic to try to get the business back up to the margins they want, they let them go because they don't they don't have no need for them. They're caught up and they cut sling load on people. Happens every day. This is why I tell you, you know, you can be a notary. All kind of little side hustles that I talk about on my business playlist to where you can have something to where uh, if they let you go, you got something to fall back on. Babysitting, you know? You got people out there that you're friends with, but they they, they, they can't never find the baby. It's, this is money. This is money that can be made uh, independent from the employer. You can set this stuff up uh, in an in a, in a LLC starting off as a basic. You can be a sole proprietor. But I'm telling you, don't be loyal to something that's not loyal to you. When these companies let good people go, don't think they're back there saying, oh man, you know, uh, uh, we, I, I, you don't think they're back there fighting if they need to lay 100 people off. Don't think they're back there fighting for 99. They don't have no emotions in it. When a business tanks, the people that are at the top are going to make sure they get taken care of and all the people at the bottom. While you've been punching, you've been showing up to work 30 minutes early, starting your work. Hey, I'm not, I'm going to work a little bit and then I'm going to clock in. You've been volunteering your time. You didn't get, you didn't miss, you know, precious moments in your family's, you know, life, precious moments in your uh, kid's life behind being loyal to a job that's not loyal to you. I'm telling you, man, ask the Most High Yah, what can I do? What can I do to set myself, set my family apart to where I don't have to be dependent on this system? You gotta think, man, some people get so complacent to where they, they, they don't never start nothing for themselves and they put all their eggs in one basket of their employer and go to work thinking, man, I'm good leaving out of work, stressed out, suicidal, not wondering how you gonna pay your bills because they didn't cut and laid a whole bunch of people off. Now you you gotta think, people get comfortable in buying all this stuff. You didn't bought a brand new car and you like, oh man, next year I'm gonna get another raise. And they back there saying, man, this guy's making too much. This guy didn't got comfortable. You know, we can get somebody to do their job for two thirds of what we're paying him or her. Think about this. I'm telling you, don't have no loyalty to a job. I'm not telling you to not do good work. Do good work, make them, make them, make them regret firing you far as your work ethic and your consistency. I'm telling you, don't, uh, don't give more value than what they're paying you because these people will cut sling low. You know, if you work uh, from nine to five, if you work from eight to four, strive to be the best employee far as like, your work is impeccable. You have very little errors. You see what I'm saying? That way, uh, you always leave doors open for if you walk away and say, you know what, I'm finna start my own thing. They remember your work ethic. They'd be like, dang, man, don't go, don't, don't leave. We don't want you. We can't afford for you to leave. You want them in that mind state rather than you being docile coming into work to find out, yep, they perfectly comfortable. They ain't shedding no tears over laying you off. They're not shedding any tears over laying you off. This is a video that's motivating you to say, hey, you know what? I didn't heard what he's talking about several times. Let me pray to the Most High Yah about what it is that I, there, there's chances are, there's something that you're already doing that you could be doing on the side. There's electricians that work for electrical companies that do electrical work on the side. Got a whole client base on the side. There's a plumber that does plumbing work for a plumbing company, but does plumbing work on the side. You know, there's all kind of, all kind of things you could be doing. Maybe it's baking. Maybe everybody has told you, man, that, man can't nobody bake a, a, a cake or cupcakes like this woman. There's a business right there. Rather than just sitting around the house 
twiddling your fingers thinking you good, do something that's gonna set you up for success. I've got videos on this playlist telling you how to get it going, telling you how to get it off the ground. It's not that hard, man. I don't want, I don't want no Israelite to miss out what I'm saying and walk in on their job and the very same thing that I'm telling you happens to you and you don't have nothing to land on. Nothing to land on. Closer than y'all ministries kicking that thing gun barrel straight. Ow.